Hi guys, in this video, we are gonna explore tachometer, which is a custom visual. This is a very powerful visual, especially when you're presenting numbers with targets. Let's head to Power BI and explore this visual. So here is the PBX file, and as you can see, I already built this custom visual called a tachometer. Uh, before I start to explain how to build this visual, let's first go to the model and see how our data is structured. So let me go to the data here. So let's check the first table. So that is fact sales. So I have the month on month data. I have the order number, product type, units, price, and discount, etc. And the other table is I have the targets. So I have the product type. So I have the target units, maximum discount on sales, etc. So to explain further, so let's say we have a team a uh, sales team. So they have a monthly target, say for product A, they have to sell 14 units, for B, they have to sell 11 units, C, et cetera. So based on their sales and comparing uh, the, with the targets, we need to build a visual. So we are using the tachometer in this case. So if I go to the model here, so I have a, a relationship uh, with dim target with the fact sales. So it's between product type to product type in this case. So the target is constant over a period of time. So I do not worry, okay, monthly. If, if you have a monthly target, then you need to make a combination of month in your targets or um, table. So for the sake of this demo, I kept it very simple. So I have a constant target over a period of time. So now heading to the report here. So as you can see, I have created a slicer. So I have, uh, enabled single select. So at any point of time, I can select only one product and same things with the month. So I can only select one month at a time. So I have enabled that single select option in the slicer. And this uh, metrics is just for uh, uh, demo purpose. So nothing to do with this stackometer here. So now uh, I'll show you how to build this stackometer. So uh, Rather than explaining this, how I've built, I would prefer to build it from scratch. So what I'm going to do is delete this for now. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to delete this uh, card as well. So the first thing is uh, I have all the uh, measures here. So if you see here, I have the target units and I have the, uh, the sales. So the total is sales. So the first thing is let me um, build the card so that I know exactly uh, what is my output before I insert them into the tachometer. So the first thing I want to see is the targets. So just to make sure I'm getting the right targets. So the sum of targets, so I'll bring it here. So with the 14 for the product A for the month of Jan, the target is 14. So let me do the same thing. Let me copy this and then let me bring the total sales. So I have one more uh, measure here, which is not called as total sales. I don't need this. So uh, we, are, we have a target for units, not for sales. So total units, let me drag and drop this here. So for a month of uh, January for product A, we have sold 15 units against the target of 14 units. So now let's build the tachometer here. So I'll insert this tachometer here. Let me resize this a bit. And then if you go to the uh, option here, we have various options under this tab, right? Add data to your visual. So the first thing what I'm gonna do is values. So for me, I need to compare my total unit sold with the target. So let me bring the total units here. So we have this. Then next up is we need to have a start value. So I, I need to start from here zero and uh, I can have an end value. So if you see here, I've created a new measure called as R1 start. Okay, so this is range one start. So I've just hard coded this number. If you want to make this like a dynamic, then you can write a formula to make it dynamic based on your requirement. So I want this to start from zero. So I'll bring this here start value and then I have the end value. So when I say end value from zero to till what uh, units I need to have. 
So in this case, I have the end value. So I have uh, restricted only up till 28. So I'll bring this end value here. And then the next one is we have the target value. So I need this target 14 right here. So I have created a, a measure here for targets. So I have the measure called as targets. So in this case, I'm using some, but if you if you have, haven't enabled multiple uh, single select, then you need to change based on your requirement. So to keep this simple, I have just enabled single select so that uh, if I sum it up, it doesn't have any effect. So I'll bring this to the target value. So we have these targets, right? So you can see 14 is my target. So we're just coming here. And this is the line, the uh, little black line there. Then range to start value. I need to split this into three uh, uh, three groups. So what I've done is range to start value. So I have hard coded this to seven from zero till seven. So let me bring this here. And as I said earlier, so if you want to have this dynamic, you can create your own measure so that you know exactly how you need to split this uh, uh, tachometer into three categories. So the next one is range three start value. So again, uh, from uh, I need this, uh, sorry, range three start values here. So the range three starts from 21. Again, I have hard coded this, but as per your requirement, you can write a formula. So let me bring this here, range three. Okay, so we have a default color. So green, yellow, and red. So ideally, the more units you sell, it should be green. The lesser you sell, it should be red, right? So what I'm gonna do is go to the format tab here, and then under the, uh, I'm not gonna change anything here under the gauge axis. So under the range one, so this is my range one. So I'm gonna color code it as, uh, I'll pick red, okay? so. The lesser the unit, it's not good. So I'll choose it as range one, uh, range red. And the range two, I'll uh, make this as uh, orange or yellow. And the higher the units you sell, it's good. So I'll change this as, uh, maybe I'll pick some green color. So let me make this green, okay. So we have the green. And then maybe I can uh, expand this. And then I have the axis label, then I can change the title, turn it off or on. And then, okay, let me put some custom text here. Sales units versus target. So we have this number here. So this is how uh, we can build a custom visual uh, chart that is called a stackometer. And uh, I would call this as a very powerful tool, especially if you, uh, if you want to present the sales number with across different segment, different products along with the target. So the line which you are seeing here is actual target, it's 14. And the total units which you are seeing is your actual number. So I can now select C. So you, you, you can see, okay, how it is changing. And I can select any other month, say, let's say Feb. And you have the results here. And there are like other options as well to make some cosmetic changes. I'm not going to get into all the details. So I would let you explore all these things. And if you have any doubts, please drop me a note in the comment section. And thanks for watching.